Selective media and differential media are two types of culture media used in microbiology to grow and identify specific types of microorganisms. They're like special tools that scientists use to make their job easier. Selective media are like bouncers at a club. They contain ingredients that kick out certain types of microorganisms while letting others in. It's like saying, hey, only certain bacteria are allowed to party here. For example, McConkie agar is a selective medium that kicks out gram-positive bacteria while welcoming gram-negative bacteria with open arms. It does this by adding some special ingredients like bile salts and crystal violet. Differential media, on the other hand, are like detectives. They have ingredients that help scientists tell different types of microorganisms apart based on their behavior. It's like giving each microorganism a unique identity card. Take blood agar, for instance. It's a differential medium that helps scientists figure out if a bacterium can hemolyze, break down, red blood cells. Some bacteria will cause complete hemolysis, some will only do it partially, and some won't do it at all. So, it's like a little blood test for bacteria. To sum it up, selective media are like bouncers that select which bacteria can grow, while differential media are like detectives that help scientists differentiate between different types of bacteria based on their actions. It's all about creating the right environment to study these tiny organisms.